choose. Open the bottle of wine as you dine on this next thought. If you are granted the same amount of time as everyone, why is it that so many will contest that their lives are too short? There is much to do and much to see, but as we all complain but that there is not enough time for you and me, how about we change that myth? Let's take a step and change the view that many are cursed with. At some point, you have to sleep. You will have to work. Inside that, you will have to travel, maybe by your own hands or inside public transport, so deadly quiet inside, it feels like a hearse. Purchase coupons to debunk the idea that you are saving time when really you're adding extra steps. The long way around, it's sometimes the fastest way to success. I realize I'm not one to advocate for what it means to have a good time, but I can provide some clarity on what the disparities we share in our day-to-day -day lives. That idea that at 5 to 9 doesn't hold water for many, and I'm surprised that this trick works at all. If that is your way of making a few more pennies, I recommend looking at a way to turn that into your 9 to 5 so that you can gain back those hours and will answer to your beck and call. Wake up and ask life, challenge me. Welcome the implications and misdirection that either break or make you from your bed to your favorite place to shoot the breeze. Make moments last longer than snaps or tweets and revel in things that only your eyes and ears can rather than post about praise somebody hears. Don't question if the glass is full or empty, just know and there will be surprises aplenty. Be glad that there is water in the cup, tell those that squabble to drink it and shut up. You are tough, and things, no matter how bad they seem now, can easily be filled with strife. Make it all count like the last drop of wine, and above all, choose life.